Hi friends, this is Reverend Myra bringing you our weekly update. Um, I want to first just thank so many of you for joining us last Sunday for our 930 live streamed Mass at Hochstein. That was amazing. I understand that we had approximately 500 of you that joined us, so thank you very much uh, for that, and thank you for your generosity and your online giving to continue to keep our ministries going and to support those who depend so heavily on us. Um, so very, very grateful for that. Uh, we could not do it without you and without your generosity and your participation. As we continue to live stream, you can maybe buy a loaf of bread and have some grape juice or wine. And as we consecrate the elements, uh, we can consecrate the elements that you all have um, out there remotely. And we can then join in communion together. It's a beautiful way uh, to stay connected to one another. Um, when we are preparing to uh, offer sign of peace, um, it's another opportunity where you can uh, start writing in the comment section and can offer peace by writing in the comment section. We will um, read those and acknowledge you. And again, um, you know, it's another way to kind of bring you into the room and to keep us in each other's hearts. So I hope that you will consider that. And we're also going to increase our offerings uh, using live stream to keep us connected. And so we will be live streaming our daily masses, which will happen on Mondays, Wednesday, and Friday at 1210. So I hope that if you're not able to be there in person, you can log in and join us to stay connected. And we'll also have uh, prayer and meditation on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8.30 a.m. that we invite you to log in to and join us. So we hope that you'll join us for that as well. We realize that uh, our prison outreach fundraiser is coming up upon us, um, and many of you have called to ask, you know, what are we doing about that? I just want you to know that we are in conversation, um, looking at the possibility of uh, creating a, maybe a virtual prison outreach fundraiser um, via live stream and using our technology do that, um, but we will get back to you on that. So just stay tuned uh, because we are starting those conversations this week and, uh, and we will get back to you and let you know exactly what uh, that's going to look like. So thank you for being very patient with us. Many of you have reached out and shared with us uh, your concern for wanting to help children in our community, the elderly, um, those who are shut in and those who are um, vulnerable and in vulnerable groups within our community. Um, thank you so much uh, for those phone calls and we are very interested in trying to attend to the needs of those in our community. And so, but in order to do that, uh, we realize that we need your help. In order for us to coordinate um, serving one another and serving those who are vulnerable among us, we need uh, to ask you to please call the church and update your uh, phone number and your email address. Um, that will help us to be able to get out real-time communication pieces to you through text uh, or email um, as well as phone calls uh, so that we can uh, continue to serve one another. So if you would please do that, that would be wonderful. Um, and if you are in our parish and you need help, uh, you need somebody to grocery shop for you or you'd like to um, someone to give you a call um, to pray with you uh, whatever that is um, we invite you to please call the parish and let us know how we might serve you um, and you can call the office at 325-1180 the other change that we've decided to make is to limit in-person office hours uh, and that will start Monday uh, March 23rd and so um, what that means is that the office will be open from 9 to 1 uh, with someone there to welcome you, to greet you, if you need to drop something off or pick something up. Um, but then after that, uh, we just invite you to call us at the 325-1180 number. Um, we will be available certainly to you uh, right up until 5 o'clock but the in-person hours uh, will end at 1 o'clock. So we just wanted you to know that. And for many of our in-person meetings that we would normally have, like our baptism meeting, our marriage prep, our new parishioner meeting, small Christian community uh, gatherings, etc., um, we are going to be 
using video conferencing technology um, like Zoom uh, and other pieces of technology that will help us to continue to um, have those services, to continue to meet with groups of people, um, and continue to be church to one another. So um, we wanted you to know that, and, and we will be sending out a, a link about how to do that. Uh, there'll be a new video uh, coming out that Davis will do that will show you how to access those technologies uh, so that we will continue um, to worship together and to gather together as a church family. To access updates, the live stream, or our online giving, uh, we invite you to please visit our website, spiritischristi.org. And if you have any technology questions, you can always reach out to Davis Craig uh, via email at dcraig at spiritischristi.org, or you can call the office. And finally, I want to just offer my heartfelt condolences to the Gospel Choir um, and to Brian and Mikey and Tony on the death of their mom, Charlene. Uh, Charlene was, uh, has been a longtime uh, parishioner and member of the Gospel Choir, and this is a really difficult time for them. So I'll just invite you to pray for the Gospel Choir and for Charlene's children that she leaves behind. And um, just want you to know that we will get through this together. Uh, we are people of faith, and we will uh, walk in our faith together, and we'll trust God. And we'll do all the things that we need to do to keep one another safe and hold each other in our hearts. So thank you so much uh, for uh, listening to this video and uh, hearing about all the things that uh, are rapidly changing. God bless you. I love you. And uh, we'll see you soon.